so gross. What's up you guys, Redline Exotics back today with another video. Today's gonna be a quick little how-to. I wanna show you how I make my organ soup for the ferrets. Now I follow the 50, 25, 25 mix that you'll find online on your Franken Prey menu websites for ferrets. The one I'm referring to is the holisticferrets.com. I really recommend their website and their Facebook group if you're on Facebook for information on raw feeding. Basically 50, 25, 25 is how I cover their heart intake and their organ intake. It's not actually the only way because my ferrets do also get whole prey throughout the week. But uh, basically if you're following a Franken prey, you want to mimic eating the entire animal. That's the most natural diet. So you're going to do a mixture of 50% heart, 25% liver, and then 25% other secreting organs. Shoot for the more organs, the better. I did forget to mention in my video that they don't eat organ soup every day. That's only a couple meals a week. You can kind of judge based on their poop. Um, they tend to have diarrhea when you give them the organ mix. My ferrets eat whole prey almost every other day too. So two of these meals a week is what seems to be working best for them. Every ferret is different, however, so it's really important to monitor their poops and adjust your menu accordingly. But mine has pancreas, spleen, and kidney, and then obviously the liver as well for my organs. The pancreas is um, goat, I believe. The spleen is beef, the kidney is beef, the heart is both lamb and chicken. I like to use chicken better for liver because I found out that beef liver is a little, um, excuse me, beef liver is a little too concentrated in vitamin A. So other sources of liver are recommended over beef. If you are using beef, just use a little bit less of it. Basically to achieve my 50, 25, 25, I am making a uh, 24 ounce total batch. So that is gonna include 12 ounces of heart. I've got chicken and a lamb heart. There's one lamb heart and then the rest of them are chicken hearts that I weighed out till they were 12 ounces. I've also got six ounces of liver here. This is chicken liver that I just got fresh today. The other stuff I had frozen and portioned out already, so I just thaw it. I have, uh, they're in two separate bags, but this is two ounces of kidney, beef kidney, that is. Two ounces of pancreas, like I said, it's either lamb or goat. And then the spleen, I believe, is beef as well. Two ounces of spleen. Yum. So... What I'm going to do now is transfer these lovely materials into my blender. This blender is designated for the ferrets. Might I add, I don't use this for anything that I would eat myself anymore, given the amount of mice and organs and various meat products that have been blended up in here. The spleen is my least favorite to pour out of the bag. I measured these bags and I went a little bit generous because I knew I would not be able, I would lose some product basically and would get stuck to the bags and stuff. And that's definitely the case with the spleen. Definitely my least favorite one out of the group. But variety is key. Um, using different types of organs and using different types of protein just help keep your diet as varied and as balanced as possible. Here goes the pancreas. That one is a lot easier. Next, I would like to get my hands on some kind of brain because brain is another secreting organ. You can use reproductive organs as well and you can buy testicles for certain animals online 
Um, right now I don't have the desire to feed my ferrets testicles of any animals. They, they get some of that when they eat their whole prey. Here's liver from today. Now the organ stuff, I definitely like to keep separate. Um, store it separate, thaw it separate, save it separately from your other meals just because it could be a little bit smellier. It's not as forgiving in the, in the refrigerator, that's for sure. These chicken hearts I'm gonna leave mostly whole. I'm feeling a little daring with those. I wanna make this a little bit chunkier basically. And I didn't cut this lamb heart up before, so I'm gonna have to do that now. And here's the final product, my organ soup containing heart, liver, kidney, spleen, and pancreas.